Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of SOLIDWORKS for Creo Parametric Users. In this video, we're going to take a look at five different things that I find that SOLIDWORKS users rave about. Stuff that you have in SOLIDWORKS that they absolutely love. And the first one, I'll take a look at something in an assembly. If I click on a component like this one, then we get our pop-up menu. And the second icon over here is open part in position. So when I click on that, it's going to open up this part in its own separate window, and it's going to maintain the orientation that the component had when I had the assembly window open. So for example, let me go to the window drop down menu and go back to that one. And now we can see that, yeah, the part is in the same orientation in both windows. Second one to take a look at, 3D sketches. So you can create a sketch in 3D. It's a sketch where all the different elements are not necessarily going to be planar. You can see that I've got some geometry, some lines and circles and rectangles in my graphics area. Here we have a 3D sketch feature. I'm going to select it and then choose edit sketch. And so all this stuff was created in the same sketch feature and they're located on multiple different planes. Let me get out of the sketch. And I'm not going to go into detail about how to create a 3D sketch. Let me take this sketch for a moment and hide it. If you want to create a 3D sketch, you go to the sketch tab. Here we have our sketch command. From the drop down, you can create this 3D sketch. And then when you go to create an entity like a line, you're going to see what plane that the entity will be created in. And if I move over here, you can see like it'll snap to say vertical and then I can create another entity in the same plane. If you hit the tab key, you can change which sort of like plane you are sketching in. Let me hit the escape key to get out of there. And then inside of here, you can also create other different kinds of planes if you want to sketch on them. So for example, I could choose, hey, I'll choose that as a reference, choose this as a reference, and then my plane will be created. And then I could create, say, a rectangle located on this plane. Let me click on the icon, uh, rectangle on the plane, and then let me create a circle located on the same plane. And then if you want to get out, I can just double click. Oops, let me hit the escape key to get out of the command. Double click on the background. And again, if I wanted to create other different entities in different planes, I can do that as well. So again, that is a very, very quick look at a 3D sketch that you can create. So. This could be convenient, especially if you're trying to do uh, the equivalent of a skeleton or doing some top-down design. Number three, mouse gestures. If I go to the Tools drop-down menu and then choose Customize, we get a dialog box. We have a Mouse Gestures tab, and you can enable the mouse gestures. I think they're turned off by default and you can choose how many gestures you want available from the mouse. Here you can see the different gestures that you have available or the different commands that you can execute from a mouse gesture in part mode, sketch mode, assemblies, and drawings. Uh, you can choose how many different gestures you want on the wheel. And this is very similar to something I saw in the Autodesk Inventor interface like 10 years ago, and it's, it's a neat little tool. You do see it in a few different commands in like Creo 5 and earlier they had that in, I don't know, I can't remember what, what commands had that. But anyhow, with mouse gestures enabled, if I hold down the right mouse button and then move my mouse, I'm going to get the little command wheel to open up and I can execute commands from it. Oops. Let me try again, move the mouse, and you can see what we have in here. Most of these are for reorienting the component and uh, how we want to view it. And so that's another thing, you know, mouse gestures. Number four, the whole wizard. Let me go back to the features tab, and in the ribbon you have a command here called whole wizard. When I click on that, it's going to open up in the property manager this tool for creating a variety of different holes. And this is similar in some respects to the 
dashboard that you have in Creole Parametric for creating holes. But one thing I'll point out is that you do have the ability to create slots from the hole wizard in SOLIDWORKS. And you have the ability to create regular slots or slots with a counter bore or a counter sink. And again, this is just something that people in SOLIDWORKS or users of SOLIDWORKS just absolutely love. Okay, number five, if you take a look at the file menu, we have two different commands in here. You can make an assembly from a part or you can make a drawing from a part. If you have an assembly open, the commands are make drawing from assembly and make assembly from assembly. Let's take a look at making an assembly from this part. I will click on that. And here we are in an assembly now. We have our different available documents. I'm just going to left click in the graphics area and it brings that component that I was just in into the assembly as the first component. Let's take a look at the other command. If I go to the file menu, this time I will choose make drawing from part. And then we get the dialog box that asks us what size we want to use. I've got C selected. Let's choose the OK button. And the drawing is started. Let's say I want to bring in one of my views. Hey, let me just grab it and then drag it and drop it in here. And so that's how you can start off a new drawing right from the model. And so there you have it, five different things I find that SOLIDWORKS users absolutely love about SOLIDWORKS.